Hi, I'm Elizabeth Goodley, and I'm the Environmental Education Officer for the Grace Kennedy Foundation. The mangroves are an essential tool in the fight against climate change. Mangroves are more efficient at carbon sequestration. They act as shoreline protection. They help to mitigate against the impact of flooding, and they act as nurseries for fishes that are very important for the seafood industry. However, in recent years, the mangroves that used to flourish along the Kingston Harbour coastline are degrading. This is because of sea level rise caused by climate change, coastal development, and pollution. The Kingston Harbour Ecosystem Adaptation Measures is a project that is funded by the Caribbean Biodiversity Fund. And it's a partnership between the Grace Kennedy Foundation, New Worlds Limited, Mona Geo Informatics, and the Center for Marine Sciences at the University of the West Indies. The objectives of the project are to restore and rehabilitate mangroves within the Kingston Harbor, to reduce the amount of pollution that enters the harbor from the Barnes Gully, and finally, to empower community members to address these issues and even to profit from them. The role of the Grace Kennedy Foundation in this project is to reduce the amount of waste that enters the harbor by empowering the communities that border the gully. We'll be carrying out this role using five programs. An education campaign that will aim to raise awareness about the issue within the communities. This will take the form of school tours, an audiovisual program which will train members of the communities in audiovisual skills so that they can speak about their experiences using their own voice. The training of respected individuals as environmental advocates. These persons will act as town criers, spreading information about the project and the issues facing the mangroves. The training of community members in the utilization of recyclables as business opportunities. This is to change the mindset of community members to see the waste as means of profit as opposed to things that just need to be thrown away. The designing and building of a gully waste trap boom that will be placed at the mouth of the gully to collect garbage that washes down during rains. We will be teaching and training community members in its build, in its utilization, and how to fix it in case anything goes wrong. Pioneering a waste recycle program within the communities. Our education campaign will teach community members how to recycle, how to separate their waste. Therefore, after they have done all the steps that we have taught them, we plan to implement a program with the help of Recycle Partners, NSWMA, and other waste management agencies in Jamaica so that these communities can recycle and reduce the amount of waste that ends up in the gullies and therefore impacts the mangroves. Mm -hmm.